everyone, how are we doing today? So in this episode, we're gonna be upgrading the timing chain tensioner on the 570. Uh, the Polaris tensioners are controlled by oil pressure and they tend to be a little weak. And as they wear out, you get a lot of valve train noise out of the motor and also run the possibility of jumping timing, especially if you have a backfire or you know just a little hiccup these things will skip timing and then you got to take it all apart and retime it. So today we're going to be taking out this old, not very good Polaris tensioner and replacing it with a hot cams tensioner, um, which is an awesome tensioner. I'll be showing you guys the part here soon. Uh, I recommend this on all 570s, uh, actually any of the Pro Stars. So if it's a 450, a 500, a 570, 900, 1000, any of the ProStar engines, I highly recommend doing this upgrade. So um, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the spark plug wire. And then take your valve cover off. There's three bolts that hold it on. It's a T40 Torx. I've already loosened these. So take them all off. We're gonna have these little spacers, make sure Sometimes they get stuck to the valve cover. Just make sure they're on the bolt. Take them all off. Just like that. And then, of course, if you have a dirty engine, make sure it's clean. You don't want dirt and crap going down in the motor. And there we go. And pull the valve cover off. And there's the wonderful ProStar dual overhead cam setup. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your engine to top dead center. Now generally what I do, this is your intake valve and this is your exhaust valve. They're both marked with I's and E's. So basically what I do, now I have the clutch cover off so I can turn the engine over by hand by rotating the clutch. This intake one, actually if we pull, you're gonna wanna pull the valve cover gasket back. Okay, you're gonna see you're gonna put the eyes on this, on this cam, so the low lines are parallel to the top of the jug, and you're gonna wanna make sure that the E's are parallel over here. There's your eyes and your E's. And you wanna make those lines parallel to the top of the, the cylinder head. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is down here is your crank sensor. This is an eight millimeter bolt. And I take an eight millimeter bolt out, which I've already pre-loosened. Do, 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 do. That's a kind of long one, there it is. All right, you're gonna take that guy out. You're gonna pull your crank sensor out. Again, any dirt, make sure it's cleaned off. And set this off to the side. Make sure that nothing touches that magnet. And before you put it back in, you're gonna to wanna to clean that up. So I just set it over here. Now, you're gonna look down in here I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but and not really. let me see. I'm a little okay. I'm a little off. Yeah, they look good now. So now, if you look down in here, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but see that mark right behind it is a V, and that V has to point towards this hole. So as long as that V is pointing towards this hole, and these two, all these marks are lined up, I, I, E, E, then you are at top dead center and in perfect timing. So now the next thing you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna take a inch and 16th wrench, put it on your old tensioner and break it free. broke it free it pretty much will unscrew by itself now oil is going to come out of here which is fine and you don't want to go too fast you want to go fairly slow with it you know quarter turn quarter turn because you want to evenly take the pressure off the timing chain to keep anything from jumping now i've done this a lot if you take your time usually nothing jumps everything stays right where it's supposed to be So 
just gonna unscrew this and it's gonna get a lot easier because that's once you get off your chain, there we go. Okay, and there is your factory tensioner. So basically oil comes into this hole, it pressurizes and then puts, see how that squishes in? So as oil pressure builds, it puts tension on the chain. And listen to this thing. Oh, sounds horrible. So, all right. So let's get the new one out and uh, we'll go over that. Okay guys, so here we go. Here's the old Polaris one and here's the new hot cams. So it's gonna come with an adapter piece this copper washer. Now, like I said, I've already installed all this, so some of this stuff's already gonna be on. Your plunger, your mounting bolts, your actual tensioner, a paper gasket for the tensioner, and your tensioner lock. Oops, there goes the washer. So, when this comes, when you buy this brand new, this is going to be retracted. However, if you ever have to service it, all you have to do is you stick a screwdriver in the end, a flathead, and you twist it. And by twisting it, see that? And you retract it. And then when you let it go, very slowly, just let the screwdriver turn in your hand. There it goes, it comes right back out. Now, when you get it, it's gonna be in the fully retracted position, okay? And then in the end, they're gonna have a little lock tab. It just looks like a flat piece of metal. So once you put it all together, you pull that tab out, and then that allows your tensioner to come out. But this is the way to do it if you're servicing your engine and you need to reset everything. So, so that's what we got. So uh, we're going to have a little drink here. One of the greatest movies ever. The Great Muppet Caper. Love this movie. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's get this put in and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's get this put back together. So you're going to take your adapter. You're going to put your copper washer on it. Then you're going to take your adapter. Put it in. Now, this doesn't have an up or a down. It's gonna pretty much stop where it wants to stop. So. First thing I do is right, screw it in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now that that's in, you're going to take your inch and sixteenth, and there is a torque spec to this. And in my case, it's snug, but not too tight. You don't want to break the damn thing off in the jug. Just enough to crush that washer. Okay. Next, you're going to take your plunger, and I usually pre-oil these. I put a nice coat of oil on them. You slide your plunger in until it pushes on the chain. You'll feel the chain move and it'll pop back. That's it. Just set it in there. Now, this is the fun part. So like I said, you're going to have your lock pin in here. So this is going to be in. But I'll show you how to do it in case you ever got to service it. So like I said, insert the screwdriver. Turn it all the way back until it stops. Okay, now on this tensioner, see that says up. So you're going to want to make sure that is up in the general up position. So what I do is I can kind of hold this all together. I've done this so many times that I'm pretty used to it. And I just messed up. <laughs> Look at that. I'm saying I've done this so many times and I mess up. Mainly because my screwdriver is a little too long and it's bumping the transmission a little bit. But that's all right. 
All right, make sure that's, yep, says up. Like I said, you gotta kind of hold it all together and make sure it doesn't pop back. It's just because my screwdriver is wedged against this stupid, there we go, that stupid vent tube. Okay, there, it's in. Now I'm holding the screwdriver, so I'm keeping the tension on it. Now you're going to install your two 8 millimeter bolts. And this is a very, very important. Do not let tension off until you have these bolts all the way in. Because once the pressure is put on this, there is no going back. You got to take it apart and redo it. Okay, now those are in. You're gonna take your 10 millimeter wrench. And you're gonna tighten these bolts up. Again, there's a torque spec. However, same thing. Tighten them down and snug. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Good thing I, that one up there is pretty tight, so. We're good for it. Let's see. Okay, screwdriver's wedged on the transmission, so shouldn't go anywhere while I retrieve my wrench that just went flying. Ah, I got it. Okay, here I come. I'm coming back. Okay. Wow, that's doing pretty good. That screwdriver's wedged in there and it's holding tension nice, so. Okay. So let's get this top one. Tighten down. Ah. There we go. Nice and tight. Okay. Now, pretty much, one of two things. You can pull the screwdriver out, or sometimes I, if I have the right one in there. <clears throat> but there, I just pulled it out. And it went in and set its tension. So now, all you got to do is look down here, make sure your V is pointing there. And you look here and make sure that all these are lined up. And everything is spot on perfect. Now, pretty much everything is just the reverse. You're gonna clean your crank sensor off, put that back in. Put your valve cover on. Now, the valve cover gaskets are reusable, according to Polaris. But what Polaris recommends, and I recommend, is right in here, okay, you're going to want to put some uh, engine case sealer, which is the gray stuff. I live by this. This stuff is great. So, pretty much, I just put it in the gasket here. So it's got a little bit there, just on the bottom. It's just so it makes sure that it's got good pressure right there. You just bring this guy around. It sets all in. They see nice, perfect. You're going to take your valve cover, which actually, you know what? Hmm. Hang on. Nah. Nah. I thought I had a nicer looking valve cover, but I don't. They look the same. Who cares? <laughs> I do. I care. You're going to put your valve cover back on. Take your bolts. Put them in. Torque them down and go from there. All right, so I'm gonna finish buttoning this up. When I come back, we'll get this thing fired up. By the way, one of the things I failed to mention was you gotta put the lock in. So once you get the tensioner in, take your washer, put it on the lock bolt, 
This goes in the back side of the tensioner here, and this is gonna lock it so it doesn't want to come back. So, figured I would mention that because, oh man, it is sometimes just so difficult to do anything with my left hand. Um, <clears throat> you don't want to forget to put this bad boy in because, man, you start, start it up. God, I got horrible dexterity in my fingers. Uh, you start it up, you're going to blow freaking oil everywhere. So, just going to want to put this in. Same thing, there's a Torx back. It's in the instructions if you want to, but like anything else, tighten it up, snug, done. All right, so it's all back together. Let's get it fired up, let's see how it sounds. Awesome. Sounds great. So that's how you do it, guys. So I hope you all had uh, a good time. Hope you learned something. Get on those machines. Let's try and get them fixed up. See if you can get your Pro Star running a little bit better. Till next time, I'll see you guys around.